Yo, what it is, it's the one, the only, but what do I know boxing, man? Definitely had to bring you some, I mean, just wanted to touch on a fight that I'm excited for. My favorite fighter, man, you got at 140, my favorite fighter at 140, let me say, the undisputed champion at 140, man, psh, the one, the only, Josh Taylor, bro, man, fighting Jack Catterall, um, great fight, man. I'm excited for this one. But sidebar, let me touch on let me touch on this guy real quick right here. Bring your ass over here. This dude. I'm just letting y'all know right now. Um, this unsure looking dude right here, Mr. Triple G. I have a video coming out soon about dude, the 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 um contradictions. It's, it's gonna be called the contradictions of Triple G and my reason for being so harsh when it comes to uh Triple G. I think he gets a a pass, but I'm gonna save that. I want y'all to be stay tuned for that video because I got a video coming out about this dude right here. Now, back to back to the important stuff. Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall, bro, for the undisputed 140, aka light welterweight title. Man, my dude Josh Taylor is the truth, bro. If y'all don't know, man, listen, Josh Taylor is from I think is he Scotland? Um he's from the UK. Hell, he's from the UK. I'm, he's from the UK. Listen, my dude is is uh, he's locked and loaded, loaded, and he's ready, bro. Let me tell you something. Josh Taylor, 18 and 0 with 13 knockouts, bro. This is my favorite guy at 140. I love everything about this dude. The dude can box his ass off, man, like no other, bro. He can box his ass off, bro. And then he has the personality to back, man. It's just, dude, is the complete package, bro. He got the personality. Like, Josh Taylor will talk shit, bro, in your face. Like, he don't, he don't care. He will talk shit. He would he gonna tell you about yourself in your face, bro. And I love that about Josh Taylor. I just watched the gloves are off yesterday with Josh Taylor and Jack Catterall. Man, I'm I'm excited, bro. Josh Taylor, he told him, how, how you gonna beat me? How you gonna beat me? You ain't fought nobody like me. You ain't never fought nobody like me. This is how so tell me how you gonna beat me. Cause I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna beat you. Is it any he, he was like, you gonna give away your gameplay? It don't matter. Man, Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor's the truth, man. And for y'all, the, the, the best thing, man, dude, this is like Josh Taylor's sixth undefeated fighter in a row, bro. Um, he beat Regis Progre. He uh he beat he beat um Jose Ramirez, bro. Like, bro, now faces Jack Catterall. Like, man, this dude, this is like his sixth undefeated fighter in a row. He beat Victor Postal, who's not undefeated, but still he beat, beat Victor Postal. Like, man, this dude right here is the truth. Josh Taylor is the truth at 140. Now, I don't I don't think that Josh Taylor has success at 147, but at 140, my dude is is he he he's he's kicking ass and taking names, bro. I, I love Josh Taylor, bro. Um, something I wanted to touch on, man, Josh Taylor, my prediction for the fight. Um, obviously Josh Taylor coming in at 5'10", he definitely has the reach and height advantage. So Jack Catterall is going to have to come inside. It's no way Jack Catterall, I mean, I know Jack Catterall was talking about how he's going to outbox him, outbox Josh Taylor, but to me, it's no way in the world Jack Catterall can outbox Josh Taylor. I don't think so. Jack Catterall is going to have to take chances, man. Jack uh Jack Catterall is 26 and 0 with like 13 knockouts. I know he does have a good left um a good left hand or whatnot. But I I don't he's gonna have to take some chances to come on the inside. Josh Taylor also proved that he can bang on the inside. If you watch his fight with Regis Progre, <clears throat> I didn't even I thought Josh Taylor was making the fight harder than what he had to be. He fought Regis Progre fight and beat Regis Regis Progre at his own fight. And to me, Regis Progre was the one that gave him the toughest fight of his career. That I that I seen, Regis Progre is the one that gave him the toughest fight. I think he just Josh, Josh Taylor won by majority decision, but Regis Progre gave him a tough ass fight, and and he beat Regis Progre at his own at his own game. So Josh Taylor can box on the inside. He can box. He definitely can box on the outside. He normally has the reach and height advantage. Man, listen, my prediction is I have Josh Taylor winning via decision. I have him winning. Eight rounds to four, one sixteen to one twelve. Should there be no knockdowns in a decision? I, I, that's that's my prediction right there. That's that's why I have it, man. Josh Taylor is the truth, man. Um, should he get past Jack Catterall? I do see him moving up to one forty seven. I don't see him having that same success because who, who? I mean, well, I don't think he a, a fight with Terence Crawford was 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 talked about at one point. 
But with Terrence Crawford suing Bob Arum, I do not see them doing business with Terrence Crawford at this moment. Um, so I don't I don't think that's going to happen right now. But uh, but I, I, I don't see him. I don't see him beating the likes of an Earl Spence. I don't see him being Terrence Crawford. I don't see him beating even the up and comers like Jerron Boost Ennis. I just I, I don't see him beating them. Ugas, I don't know. That's a good fight. Him, maybe I, I don't know, man. I don't even know. But I can see what he's working with at one forty seven. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, it talks about him moving up. If he can stay at, at one forty longer, I, I definitely think he should. I would like to see him beat Teofimo. They have they've been talking. Teofimo moved up to one forty. I don't think Teofimo beats uh, Josh Taylor. Teofimo's a good boxer. I like Teo, but I don't think he beats Josh Taylor. But let me know what you guys think, man. Who do you have winning this fight, man? Who are you going with, man? I got my boy Josh Taylor. But, hey, what do I know? Oh, yeah. And just a reminder, I, I, I'm t I want y'all to watch, man. Y'all got to pay attention to this video that I'm finna post to Triple G, man. Yeah, I ain't forgot about you, boy. I know I, I said this, you know, I, I respect all boxers. And let me get let me get something straight, man. Triple G is a good boxer, bro. He is. But I, I, it's too much It's too much stuff that he gets away with, man. And don't nobody point out. So I'm going to point it out. So y'all be tuned. Y'all stay tuned for this right here. All right, I'm out.